Hey everyone, welcome to the Building a Single Page Application with jQuery and Ajax course. My name is Ian Schoonover and I will be teaching you how to use jQuery and Ajax to refactor an express application and turn it into a single page application. Before we get started, let's talk briefly about what Ajax is. So Ajax is an acronym, it stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So XML is not used as often as JSON these days. So we're actually going to be using JSON instead of XML. So technically what we're doing is asynchronous JavaScript and JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's just a way that we can structure our data whenever we're getting it back from the server. So before you move on with the next videos in this course, go ahead and take some time to download this repository. You can navigate to this link here. I'll share it in the video description. When you get to this repository, there are download and setup instructions here. If you don't know how to use Git, then you can just go ahead and click clone or download and choose the download zip option instead, at which point you can just navigate to the unzipped files and begin with step two. Once you have this base application set up, you'll be ready to go with the next lectures. So let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be building in this course. So here we have a monolithic express application. That just means that Express is handling everything from the server side to the client side rendering of the views and so on. So if we click on new item, it takes us to a slash to do's slash new route. And this is its own page or its own view where we have a new form. We can type something in like walk the dog and click create item. So that information gets sent to the server via post request. And then whenever it's inputted into the database, we get redirected back to the index page where this view gets rendered and we now have this new item on the page. If you want to edit any of these items, you can just click the edit button next to the item. Here we have this form. It's on its slash to do's ID for the item and then slash edit. We can click on the input and change it from go to the movies to go to the gym. We'll update the item. It sends that put request to the server and then it redirects us back to the index. Yet again, the index is updated and now we see go to the gym. Likewise, we can delete any of these items simply by clicking delete. It'll send a delete request to the server and then it'll send us back in a redirect to the index page where those items will no longer exist. So we'll click delete here. It sends us back and that item's gone. So this is a three page application right now and it takes a little while to go from the index page to the new page, back to the index page, to the edit page, back to the index page and so on. So we're going to solve that problem with jQuery and Ajax. Here we have our application that we'll have finished by the end of this course. So I've actually refactored the new item form from the slash new page and we've put it onto the index page. So we can access the form right away. We can enter in an item, walk the dog, click create item, and it gets appended to the DOM immediately. So there's no refreshing or redirecting anything like that. We're just updating the portion of the DOM that needs to be updated. So this is a lot quicker and better for the user experience. Now if we click any of these edit buttons, we can see that the edit item form pops up right next to the item that we want to edit. This is a lot easier than going to an actual page where the form is and then being redirected back to the index after we click update. So I'll change walk the dog to walk the cat, or in my case it would be walk the cats. Click update item and immediately walk the dog gets updated to walk the cats. No need to redirect anywhere or refresh any pages. We just update this portion of the DOM quick and easy. So now if we want to delete any one of these items, we can click on delete next to that item. It'll ask us, are you sure? We'll click OK and that item gets removed from the DOM. So what we've done is we've refactored a three page application into a single one page application. Like I said before, this creates a more seamless user experience and it's a lot quicker. So I'm really excited to show you how to do this. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have the initial base application downloaded and set up and then I'll see you ready to go in the next video. Thanks.